upon thousands of instruments are in readiness. Even as far as 30 miles away, crew members cover their eyes before the blinding flash. As a protection against radiation burns and glare at the moment of detonation, midnight black goggles have been issued. The sun is barely discernible. Now, target below, the battleship Nevada. Bombay doors open. The target area is clear. One second to go. Like a ball of fire lighting up the sky, the bomb shoots upward in purplish clouds of smoke, soaring to a height of 30,000 feet. The center of the explosion is from 300 to 700 yards away from the Nevada. Now faintly discernible are ships on fire. Original reaction to the bomb was one of dismissal as early reports appraised the damage as relatively unimportant. But day by day, as more evidence became known, a different picture began to emerge. 59 of the 73 target vessels felt the white-hot explosion, with damage ranging from total to negligible. In the wake of the blast, daredevil crews risk exposure to radioactivity as they go in with Geiger counters. Priority job is to determine the early limits of dangerous areas. Surface and deep water samples are constantly picked up by lead ships. Fires must be fought on ship after ship. Indications are that if the target fleet had been manned, the blast would have rendered it helpless. Fragmentary reports seem to indicate that this pattern included the area of greatest damage with the small spot above, and that this pattern marked the area of secondary damage. Warships that seemed only scarred and blackened from a distance were hard hit. Admiral Blandy and Secretary Forrestal lose no time in getting a close-up view of the damage. German cruiser Prinz Eugen sustained more damage through one open vent than she had in some of the toughest... Instruments are removed and back to the ship laboratories go samples to be studied. Animal blood and strange metallic pellets. Today, the test at Bikini belongs to history, but the world will never forget its magnificence and terror. For the fourth time in history, mankind was face to face with a power that it must control or perish by.